Enjoy this Tinkercade lesson where you'll learn how to use a simple scratch program to create your own dinosaur character that you can animate with your keyboard. This video and a web browser is all you need to get started with your scratch code and move your own dinosaur sprite. So let's push play and get started. All right, today we're gonna to take a look at creating a moving sprite in Scratch that has arrow key controls. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go up to the Scratch main page and find the Create tab. This Create tab will create a brand new empty project that will allow us to find um, our sprites and code them to do things. So on the beginning screen, there is just one sprite that's a default sprite. And what we can do is we can actually customize this sprite. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this one and we're gonna choose one of our own. So sprites are offered in tons of different uh, styles and uh, of many different things on the Scratch default page. So we're gonna choose something funny and we're just gonna choose this, uh, say this dinosaur down here. This dinosaur is pretty cool. So once we have our dinosaur in the, uh, into the Scratch window, you can see that it has um, a set of options here that we can change around like the size, um, exactly what position it starts at, and whether or not we're, we're looking at it. But what we wanna do first is just make sure that we have it selected. Once you know that you have it selected, then you can be sure that the code that you're adding will be uh, for this dinosaur here. So the first thing that we need to do when we're talking about coding different controls for a sprite is we need to talk about events. Over here on the left, We've got a bunch of different types of code blocks and they all do slightly different things. Sometimes they do the same things just in different ways, but there are still you know, many to choose from. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the events tab, um, which has a couple of different kinds of what are called events. So these are when you click your mouse or you press uh, you know, say a button on the keyboard, when you start the game, things like that. What we're gonna do is we're going to um, wanna use the key pressing events because those are used when you use you know, arrow keys and space bars and things like that. And here we can actually define, you know, we can select what, uh, what key is gonna be pressed. So since we're using the arrow keys, I'm just gonna code the up arrow control first. So this is an event that whenever we put code in here, it will actually run this code every time we press an up arrow. And you can actually go and test this out. Um, you can see that when I push an arrow, on my keyboard, the up arrow, the green flag over here actually kind of twitches a little bit and that means that it's expecting some code. So that means that we have this event working. So what we need to do now is actually make something that happens when we press the up key. So back on the different types of code, you can select the motion tab. And this is the portion where we're actually gonna get the dinosaur to move. So when we have an up arrow press, that means that we're gonna to wanna to move the dinosaur in this direction. So I'm just grabbing it with my mouse now. And we're gonna want it to get moving in this direction every time we press the up arrow. So what we need to do is we need to go down to the move and we need to select these two blocks. So you see change X by and change Y by. These two blue blocks are gonna be used to move the dinosaur. And you can see over here on the right uh, with those other options that I was talking about, when I move this dinosaur, it changes its location. You see the X position here and the Y position here. These are just uh, terms that we use for the left and the right of the screen and the top and the bottom of the screen. So when I move it across different parts of the, it's called the canvas, you can see that this position changes. And so if we wanna change the position of the dinosaur without dragging the mouse, we just need to change the X and the Y values. So what we need to do is go here and find the change y by a number. And this is because we're using the up arrow, so it's on the, the y, the up and down, the top and bottom axis direction. So the up arrow is pressed, it says change y by 10. Now this will actually work just fine as it is. That's because the y direction, if you change it by a positive number, that's a number that's greater than zero, it will actually move in the positive direction or upwards. However, if we were to change this to a negative number, it would move the dinosaur back down. So that's what we're gonna do. And because we need to make a control for the 
down arrow, the left arrow, and the right arrow. I'm just going to pull out three more events. Now, we're going to make this one the down arrow. And we can actually use um, some easier tools so we don't have to go uh, looking back through all these different code blocks to find what we need. So what we can do is right click this change Y by block and duplicate it. And what that's going to do, it's going to make a copy of that block that I can put on the down arrow event. And the only difference between this one and the down arrow, or sorry, this one and the up arrow, is that you just need to make this a negative value. That means that when we press the up arrow, the dinosaur will go up, and when we press the down arrow, the dinosaur will go down. The next two steps, uh, you know, it can go up and down, but it can't go left and right, and that's important for a dinosaur. So what we have to do is we have to code a left and a right instruction. So what I'm going to do here is go left arrow and right arrow. This is the left, this is the right. And we're going to do the same thing that we did before, except instead of finding the change Y by blocks, we're going to be using the change X by blocks. So those are just above where we found the other ones. And since I have it here, I'm just going to drag it out. And I'm going to do the same thing um, with the right and left arrows, except we have to think about what direction uh, negative is in, in the left and right direction. Um, this might not be so obvious to everybody, but you can see that when we push up, the dinosaur's number goes up, becomes more positive, and down. That's how we coded these instructions. So when we push the dinosaur to the right, the number becomes more positive, this one becomes more negative. So we can see that the left direction is the negative direction. And this is the way it is in math as well. So what we need to do is we need to go to the left arrow and just change this to a negative 10. That way we've got our directions right. Otherwise, they would both move the dinosaur to the right. And now we have a playable dinosaur. So I'm going to position it somewhere in the center and move it around. Now, there's one little extra thing that we can do to make it look like it's really moving. And that is that we can make the dinosaur face left and right when it turns left and right. So to do that, we just need to go to where the dinosaur is, make sure that we have it selected. We're still coding for the dinosaur here. And we're going to select the costumes. The costumes are available for us to make just in case we ever want to uh, change the direction or, or how uh, this costume is facing. It's made up of different legs and pieces, but we're going to do something really simple with it. We're going to just take the second costume and change it. So what I do, I select the whole dinosaur and we're just going to delete this. And then we're going to take the regular dinosaur, which is the first costume, highlight it, and we're going to copy this. Paste it in the second costume. And then we're just going to flip this costume so it looks like it's facing the left. So we're going to go here, flip horizontal, and that will flip the dinosaur around. So whatever costume we select here will be the default costume, but we can always change the costume around when we move with our arrows because we have arrow events here. So what we can do is go to the Looks tab, find the Switch Costume to tab, and then we just have to remember which costume is which. So I'm going to insert this before the rest of the code, and I'm going to move this aside just so that it's nice and spaced out. We're going to insert this before the code. That way, by the time the dinosaur moves, it's already facing the right direction. Do the same thing for this one here. And the only difference is that uh, between the two, one is dinosaur for dash A, and the other one's dash B. Those are just the two different costumes, so we have to make sure we get those right. So A is facing to the right. B is facing to the left. You can see that in the name here. And so we're going to go back here. When the left arrow is pressed. We're going to make it dinosaur B. And when the right arrow is pressed, we're going to make it dinosaur A. Just that small improvement makes the dinosaur look that much more realistic. And that's how to make a moving character in Scratch.